Okay guys, how are you doing? It's Josh Ward PT here, back with episode 7 of Lean Over Winter. And uh, as I said, I've tried to get down to the seafront where I'm based um, when I come home with Paul says for a little workout here. Um, so finally the weather has been good. Um, I'm literally on the pier or the promenade um, right down the beach where I live. Um, just run down here. So what I'm going to introduce you today is a very, very simple workout you can do. Um, slightly different from the hip train. It is the type of hip train that we do already, but it's slightly different. Um, a bit more advanced uh, form. Um, it's called Tabata training. Um, and basically how it works is you pick one exercise, you work on that exercise for 20 seconds as hard as you can, you then rest for 10 seconds and then you repeat 20 seconds 10, 20 seconds 10 for a further seven times. So you do eight rounds in total of a singular exercise and you do each exercise, as I said, eight times, 20 seconds on with the work, 10 seconds rest. And then once you've finished your whole eight, then you kind of uh, can have a little bit more rest. But um, this type of workout you can do with anything. Again, you can do it with uh, some weights if you've got like any weights at the gym. Um, obviously for today, we're gonna do it with body weight. And again, I'm gonna keep it simple, easy to follow, three exercises, abs, upper body, and legs, all right? So what we're gonna do is always, we're gonna go into a little warm up, five minutes. I've picked a spot with a bench because I'm gonna do the majority of exercises using this bench. Um, obviously you don't need to be on the seafront to do it. You can find a bench in your local park if you pass one on your run or something like that. As I said, I've run down here, so I'm already quite warm, but just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do a little warm up. So as always, let's get started into some star jumps. You'll have to excuse any background noise you might hear. I mean, the sea's gonna be quite nice, but if there's anyone that walked past talking or you hear any dogs or seagulls, then, well, you know what, I'm gonna be on the beach. So just 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's go into some of those alternate lunges. Just nice and quick. So I'm just gonna do us two leg, and two upper body ones to get us nice and warm and then we'll go straight into the batter circuit. So we're going to use a bench for these next upper body ones. So we're just going to go for a few push-ups. 20 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to change it around into tricep dips. Last one, full body. Let's just get some high knees on this spot. Start punching out to the front. Punching down to the floor. Out to the sides. And up to the sky. Okay, last 10 seconds, as fast as you can. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so it should be pretty warm now. As always, if you want to get any more exercises in that we've done in previous videos for the warm up, so any of the uh, the ground stuff, um, side planks, uh, knees into chest, um, anything else to warm you up, then go ahead. Otherwise, we're going to go straight into the Tabata circuit now. So what we're going to do is one exercise at a time out of the three we're going to do. Really maximise each body part or muscle group as effectively as possible. So we're going to start with legs, get that out of the way. I'm going to give you two alternative exercises depending on your ability for this one. But we're going to use the bench for both. So either you're going to do what I'm going to do, which is small jumps. Just as quickly as you can. Or if that's a bit too much, you can just go for the switch foot lunges. So from the sides, we're gonna go for the small box jumps as quick as you can, or 
those switch fits. So, exercise number one, 20 seconds work on, 10 seconds rest. We repeat it eight times, and then I introduce the upper body one. So, first 20 seconds, in three, two, one, go. First 20 done, max effort on these, so as fast as you can. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, three, two, one, Oh man. Oh. Excuse any further background noise as well. There's definitely a garbage truck at some point as well. Anyway, three, two, one, let's work. Feeling in the fatigue. Ooh. All right. So, four more to go. Three, two, one. Different side this time. More. Oh my god, those calves. So, three, two, one. Let's go. I'm gonna switch foot at this time because my calves are dying. <laughs> Half burner. Woo. So it means I'll have to do legs anytime soon. Oh goodness. Right, switch foot, I'm gonna change up. Two more. Three, two, one, let's go. Last one, max effort on those jumps. In three, two, one, let's work. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one. And rest. Whew. Oh goodness, I hope all of that was just caught on camera. <laughs> I'll do this that time. Okay, so 
leg bit done. Um, take a few minutes and then we'll go on to the rest of the circuit. So apologies for the quick change in location. Um, annoyingly, a van decided to pull up right behind where I was filming, and it's kind of blocked the nice view that I had of the seafront. Um, so quick change, um, but by now you should have got enough rest in um, and we can get onto the next bit of batter. So this is gonna be upper body this time. I'm gonna give you a side view on this one so you can probably see it a little bit better. But basically, just gonna be doing staggered push-ups. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with the hands together. I'm gonna bring one out to the side, bring it back to the center. Bring the other out to the side and continue going as quickly as possible. So, if you want to change it up as well, you can come onto say the side of a bench, and you can just go for a close grip push-up if you want to change the muscles that you're working. Obviously, with push-ups, um, the wider you are, the more you engage your chest. The narrower you are, the more you actually use the triceps. Um, so, yeah, it just gives you a little bit of. Uh, a variety there if you do want to change it up. So I thought this might give a little bit of a better view of what I'm about to do. Um, so anyway, we're going for those staggered push-ups or sort of changing the grip. Um, and I will change it up so we can do some tricep specific push-ups as well just to break up sort of the area we're working. But either or, you're both going to be getting the same muscle groups. So we're going to go for those push-ups first. So same principle, 20 seconds work on, 10 seconds rest, max effort in between. So in three, Two, one, and go. <sighs> Last 20 seconds, very, very quick movements. Um, it's not semi plyometric because you are. Uh, still with your feet on the ground, but yeah, still very, very good exercise. So, I'm going to change up and grip from the side now. So, just keeping the hands in that narrow grip. Fast push ups, 20 seconds. You can definitely feel the burn now, you definitely feel that tricep isolation in that one because we obviously did use them for the normal push up. So I'm going to switch it between each one so we can really get maximum, um, maximum effect on the triceps with this one as well. But we'll also get obviously the chest and shoulders. So, number three. Great way to just blast the muscles. Any muscle group, but oh my god, what a pump! So back to those triceps. We'll be halfway through. Two, one, and go. Goodness. Now that's quite something. Oh, halfway. So I'm going to change it up again on here, just so we're working everything a bit more evenly. So we're going to go for just just wide grip push-ups. So stay wide. So three, two, one, go. Straight away, you can feel the difference because the triceps are so fatigued from this isolation. 
but now you bring that wide grip on, the chest is taking everything because the triceps have barely got any energy left to support. So, well now they've rested, isolate them again. So, number six, three, two, one. Let's work. What a pump, what a pump. So, back to wide again. In three, two, one, let's go. My goodness, that's outrageous. So last time, and we'll take it back to the original so we can give everything good all, all work round. So in three, two, one, and So you should literally be like that by the end of it because everything is so worked and you're giving yourself such minimal rest that your muscles have to really, really dig deep in order to keep you going. So you really do get in there, lots of breaking of fibers that are much deeper than what you would, I guess, engage if you were just sort of doing um, a comfortable amount of reps or a comfortable amount of time and giving yourself more adequate rest. Um, so yeah, hugely effective. So that's the second one done, the second Tabata circuit. We'll do one more for abs and then we'll have a little cool down as well. And looking back to where I was earlier, it's actually clear now, sod to all, that the guy in the van has moved. So I'm gonna take us back there for the last bit. But I think it's been quite nice because you can see you've got quite a good view. In fact, I'll just show you. Now we're resting. So yeah, as you can see, pretty good view, I think. Pretty good day for coming down and doing like a, a winter outside beach style workout, even though we're not on the beach, but a uh, seafront workout. So, get some water on, take another little bit of rest, and I'll see you back for the last part of the workout, the last little abs bit, in a few minutes. So what we're gonna do now for that final tobacco exercise, we're gonna finish off with some ab work. So, taking us to a slightly different bench this time, I think it's been quite nice that we can see sort of different areas of where I'm working out, slightly different angles and stuff as well. And we're just gonna finish off with some abs. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do some mountain climbers using the bench. It looks like this. Just knees up, tight as you can. If you wanna make it a bit more challenging, you can change the slope like this. And then from the side also, just a reminder. So just bring those knees up. Okay, so same principle, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, eight times around. Three, two, one, let's go. And yes. So, although you are using the legs for those mountain climbers, um, keeping them low is the idea of it so you can really keep the core tense and engaged to keep your stability. 
but then bringing the leg up alternately is really working with the lower abs as well. So next time round, three, two, one. You right? Round two done, 10 seconds rest. We'll go again six more times, finish off our spat circuit. So, do it from the side this time in three, two, one, and go. It's 20 seconds, it's not a hugely long time to be working. The intensity of working uh, combined with the minimal rest is what makes it so effective. So, on four, three, two, one, and go. because we've already done the upper body work and the leg work before. Everything's already pretty sore and already we're aching a lot, but we're almost done now. Four more times, one minute, 20 seconds left to work. Side again, three, two, one, let's go. So it's not nice and low. <clears throat> And rest. Three more times. Three, two, one. Let's do it. more. Oh goodness. You really really feel this. I think this is actually a little bit harder than the classic hit we've done, been doing before. <laughs> but therefore very effective at burning fat. So two more. Let's go. Do this, let's stay lean over winter, stay shredded. Let's get it done. Three, two, one, and Blowing. <laughs> I am blowing. 
Oh, but what a day for it though. What a day. Thank you. England, in December. Wow. Anyway, so that is it. That's the end of our little Tabata theme circuit. So something definitely more challenging this week. Um, but as you can hear, hugely effective. Um, possibly if not a bit more effective, just purely because of the minimal rest. Um, and the minimal rest, you, I guess it's only something you can improve on your recovery rate that is. So the longer it takes you to be able to go again, after that intense exercise, your recovery rate is, uh, is down to fitness levels. So, obviously if you've been following every single week um, of the series, it will have progressively got a little bit harder. So hopefully your recovery rate um, will have improved. So 10 seconds is not a lot in any case, no matter how fit you are. Um, in the fact, the fitter you are, it should actually be harder because your heart rate is skyrocketing and uh, yeah, 10 seconds rest really isn't a lot. So it's actually harder to fit you are to get your high rate to a point of fat burning. So um, yeah, anyway, rambling, point being, that because it's 10 seconds rest as opposed to the 30 or the 40 that I usually give you in the other circuits, um, it's a much more effective way of working. Really fatigues the muscles. Um, as you can probably feel, everywhere is aching very, very quickly. Um, and especially the uh, press-ups, I think that's probably the clearest one on how you really feel that isolation burn because as soon as I've done those um, close grip tricep isolation push-ups, and then gone back to doing the wide grip ones, I could feel that my triceps were completely fatigued and the chest and the shoulders were taking most of most of the effort on that push-up. Um, whereas normally if you're fresh it's a combination of the three. So um, yeah, very, very effective and you can hopefully see what I mean now by the the, the, the difference between compound and isolation stuff um, specifically. Um, but anyway, that's the end of Lean Over Winter um, episode seven. Um, so now, I'm going to take a few minutes to rest, I'm going to get some water on board. Uh, it's actually pretty hot today, which is, which is lovely. Um, and then we'll just have a little stretch off at the end to cool down. So, see you in a few minutes. So we're just going to do a little bit of a dynamic cool down, followed by a few static stretches. So we'll go for the old opposite toe kicks. I like these ones because you get pretty much every muscle on the back of the legs. And it just helps to loosen everything a little bit before you go completely static. So three, two, one, last one. Good. So now we we'll switch to some side kicks. So I'm just gonna alleviate some of the lactic acid build up in the glutes. Um, they won't have been hugely used um, purely because the leg one was a bit more quad and calf focused. Um, and we weren't squatting very low, um, but using the mountain climber section for sure, um, and just for a general bit of stability as well, so it's always nice to do it anyway. Three, two, one. Good, so good old fashioned calf one. We'll go for the classic calf stretch. Nothing wrong with it. People say it's a little bit of a lazy one, but right now it feels great. So back leg nice and straight, front leg bent. We obviously we're stretching the back. Back legs calf. If you want to increase this one, just lean a bit more forward into the stretch. And change legs. So I just like to get a little twist on, just to loosen up everything. Just let the arms naturally flow round. And then we'll give them a few rotations backwards. And a few forwards. And 
just a good chest one. I'll try and explain this from the side. But basically, what you want to do is put your hands sort of just above your bum here, and you're basically just trying to puff out the chest like this and really, really pull those shoulders back. Um, and you should feel the pecs get a good stretch on. So this one's ideal as a partner one, actually, if you can get someone to sort of, sort of pin your elbows in even more. But just for this sake, just really try and try and puff your chest out like you're trying to impress them. Okay, and relax there. So we'll just do tricep and shoulder. So bring one arm across, try. Obviously if you've got bigger arms it's quite hard, but try and grab the tricep as opposed to grabbing and putting pressure on the elbow joint it's just a little bit better for the arm. Just pull it across. You should also feel this in the shoulder here. Um, a bit of the rear deltoid as well, which is nice. So it's quite a good compound stretch, this one. And change. What a lovely day, then. I've never seen, like, the weather this good and see this calm in December. So, I mean, not in England anyway. So, must have been, must have, you know, must be fake. Must have known I wanted to come film a workout. So the weather was like, you know what? I'll let I'll let up for you today, Josh. I'll, I'll stop it being crap for one day, and then uh, yeah, you can do your thing. So no, very very grateful. One more, we'll just change the arm. So this is definitely an isolation stretch for triceps. So really, again, try and push that arm down. What's happening is I'm trying to reach down with fingertips as well as pushing down with the arm. Good, and we'll just finish off just with a little bit for abs. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna reach up, reach as high as we can, take a dip, big deep breath in. The arms flow, breathe out. Two more times, breathe in. Reach a little bit higher if you can. You should feel that really press on the abs. And last one, just reach as high as you can with the fingertips. That's your breathing in. Maximum stretch, hold for three, two, one, and release. So, there you have it. There is the end of Lean Over Winter episode seven. It's about a style workout. Um, hope you enjoyed this one. Definitely one of the harder ones in the series. Um, but again, something that you can literally chuck in either before, after, during a workout and do anywhere. You know, I said I've run down here to the coast, run like a few, few miles to come down um, and then just set this up, ready to chuck on. Uh, I'm now gonna attempt to go and do a shoulder session, so purely resistance, so see how that goes. Anyway, um, tune back in next week, and I'm aiming to do another client session, um, so that should be a, a new sort of success story slash some partner style um, exercise as well. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, if you did, please subscribe to the channel um, and leave some comments, let me know what you liked, how you found this one, if you found any exercises particularly challenging, um, anything you think that could be improved. Um, I'm just gonna put a question out there, what would you like to see in the next workout, what sort of exercises, any um, specific body areas you want to sort of specialise on, any muscle groups, um, like what would you like to see in the next workout ahead of next week's partner session. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in and following the series and see you next time.